good afternoon um, thanks for watching this video it's the 27th of March 2024 um, this title of the newest video is um, about a problem found on the kidneys after having the PET scan so we'll get to that in a minute just a quick introduction to everything before I, I start I know we have some new people joining and uh, very much thank you for everybody from around the world who do watch my videos <clears throat> to be honest if you don't watch the videos then it doesn't it, it motivates me by people watching um, and subscribing I've now got 1325 subscribers which is absolutely superb and the views still come in every day and it's brilliant because as I said before all the views that uh, <clears throat> we get the money goes straight to a local cancer care place at the minute we have a place in Deerham in Norfolk here in the UK where um, I've just made the first hundred pounds from YouTube and next week hopefully I will be visiting the cancer care place and giving them this money now <clears throat> these small cancer care places rely on donations they do such a vital uh, work in the community it's somewhere where the people can just go and uh, have a cup of tea have a chat and be with people who have the same journey and I know that <clears throat> the hundred pound I give them is not going to change the world but at least uh, it will make a difference to the the organization there if it pays for the electric for a week it pays for the electric but it is it's so vital in the work they do within the community um, they do a fantastic job uh, so they don't know me I don't really know them but so I know they do uh, a great job within the community of Deerham which is about 15 miles away from me so just a quick quick introdu introduction I always have a quick two minutes just to say what my journey was August 23 had uh, a uh, a blood test no symptoms it found I had a PSA of 5.6 and after the doctor's DRE test MRI and biopsies it was found I had 5 out of 16 of the biopsies which were positive uh, 3 plus 4s and a 1 4 plus 3 so this time last year I had the prostatectomy in the Norfolk and Norwich Hospital here in the UK and uh, throughout last summer the blood test has been going up and eventually reached 0.2 <coughs> on in January my last video I was basically saying about uh, I went to see the surgeon the uh, consultant urologist who tried to get me a scan a PET scan with oncology and um, we, we got a phone call to say that um, they'd accepted it so last week I went to the Norfolk and Norwich for the for the PET scan uh, so I, I believe uh, in my last video I just explained that they will put radiation uh, into your arm through a cannula and you're meant to sit there for 45 minutes to an hour and allow the radiation to go all around your body and straight after that you have your PET scan so throughout last week um, I had it done Tuesday and I was sort of intrigued by Thursday Friday to see what the results were so I rang up on the support nurses and just said could I have the results and she said obviously I've got an appointment uh, Tuesday the 26th to see the oncologist Dr Jenny Nobes at the Norfolk and Norwich Hospital and that um, she would go into depth more of what the results were but she said the the, the, the prostate what was uh, remaining wasn't picked up on the PET scan which we sort of knew was going to happen we know I was 0.2 and I was told 0.2 is the right the lowest limit they can um, the PET scan can detect but they'd agreed to take a, a chance and, and do a, a scan for me which again I was most grateful um, at least I was on the oncologist books and uh, say so I wasn't expecting a scan but they done one and um, <clears throat> the woman told me that nothing was found but they're suspicious activity in and around the uh, kidney area so over the weekend I've just done a little bit of research on that to see what it could be just to get a little bit of knowledge 
but not not a, a doctor Google. It was just a case of uh, what's there, what it could be, just to prepare myself for the um, meeting I had with Dr. Jenny Nobes on uh, on yesterday, actually. So one of the things, um, obviously, it could be there are lymph nodes in and around the kidney area, which is probably the worst result, which um, I could expect. Um, because they told me it was a kidney region and not necessarily the kidney. So um, other things that obviously got brought up was kidney cysts, um, which aren't too bad, depending on the size. But we didn't we didn't really know much more. She wasn't going to go into too much more detail. So yesterday um, had an appointment at eleven forty five uh, in the Colney Ward at Norwich. And um, we sat down and uh, again, Jenny introduced herself and said that there was no activity within the prostate at the minute. And um, there was a activity near the kidney, on the kidney. So not in the region, on the kidney. So I asked her, was it the lymph node? She said, no, <clears throat> it was actually on the kidney. So she was very, very helpful, um, answered all my questions. And she brought up on the screen the picture, the PET scan, so I could see myself where the, the activity was. Um, again, I'd seen some images of what a cyst looked like. It's sort of round-edged, more cylindrical, uh, where if it's a tumour, it'd be more jagged, it'd be more lumpy, um, actually around the cyst itself, not so much around the kidney, but around the cyst. So I had a look on the screen and... Um, I'm not a doctor, I'm not medical in any way, but from from what I see, it was very, uh, obviously a cyst as a fluid sac, and um, would have a nice round sac um, edge. And it looked to me that to, to be a cyst more than anything. And I asked Dr. Jenny if she was a betting person, what she thought it would be, and she she agreed with me. She, could say, she couldn't say yes or no what it was, um, she said I would have to have a CT scan in the next few months and they would determine um, what it was so it, in a way it's 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 good news um, obviously I didn't want nothing there but um, it's there and we have to we have to move on with it so um, I'm hoping that uh, with a CT scan in a few months it'll come back as just a, a small cyst and I did ask what could be done and she, Dependent on the size, they could leave it. If it doesn't cause you any problems at the minute, it could be left. But they could go in with a laparoscopic needle, I think it is, it is under general anaesthetic, and obviously drain it, and then um, just sort of cover it up with some solution so it doesn't appear again. So the good thing is it was only on one kidney. Uh, again, I, I'd thought the worst, that it was on both kidneys and it was cancerous. Then again, um, kidney transplant, if it was on one, then uh, the worst come to the worst, the kidney could be taken away and you can live quite comfortably on one good kidney. But she said she wasn't too over worried about it at the minute. Uh, so we just got to wait for the scan. So I did ask her, was the uh, kidney activity uh, anything to do with the PSA? And she said no. Um, she said basically she thinks the surgeon had um, left a little bit behind. It's very common uh, <coughs> in the prostatectomy and um, they're going to radiate the prostate bed um, as per schedule. I was meant to go up there on Thursday for the planning stage. The planning stage is where they sort of measure you all up just to make sure everything lines up and they will put tattoos little black dots on your abdomen where they're going to go in with the with the laser and just to give you a you know a bit a bit more of a um, you know they're going to give a CT scan and just to get you ready basically uh, the, the procedure I believe you go in you'll have an enema which you meant to empty your rectum at the same time you're meant to empty your bowels um, and then they will give you a, a certain measurement of water to drink probably 450 mils I believe and that has to be drunk like five ten minutes before your CT scan 
uh, it has to be a regular amount each time they do the scan so uh, that's why everything has to be cleared out and obviously then then drunk so that's going ahead on Monday which is bank holiday uh, 10 30 in the morning and they're still going to carry on with the radiation which will be starting on the 18th of April and I've got 20 sessions of that they call them fractions that's not including the weekends so I've got a, a month of uh, of uh, every day Monday to Friday luckily for me most of them are mid-afternoon early evening so I don't have to miss too much of work uh, work have been very good with me actually and basically said you know you, you, you need to go you need to go it's no problem <coughs> um, so I did ask the question to to Jenny was I'd read a lot on different um, websites and different uh, Facebook pages I belong to a, a UK one an American one and I did say that obviously with the radiation as I was 20 or 33 and she said in the UK now it's uh, most practices will do 20 they give you just a little bit higher dose of uh, radiation in one go and they cut it down to 20 uh, I believe in some parts of the world who do watch my videos um, in America or New Zealand or Australia that some people are still getting 33 again I'm not too sure whether that's on the size of what they're trying to zap uh, again mine's only a 0 0.2 so again I'm not too sure whether that is because of that um, but she said no it'll be 20 zaps so with that I have to uh, keep hydrated um, drink at least two liters of water a day which is quite hard at the minute because I'm, I'm not a big water drinker but we've broke that down into four bottles of squash um, sort of seven o'clock in the morning and midday three four o'clock in the afternoon and then obviously before you go to bed so it's not too bad at the minute it just means you've got to pee a little bit more so we can handle that so yeah all is where it is at the minute I'm happy that I've um, asked for a scan and we got a scan done um, I'm happy that Mr Illy um, referred me and uh, again radiation will go ahead next week or preparation next week and um, I say the kidney the kidney area uh, wouldn't have been picked up if I hadn't had, had the scan um, I believe I'm maybe nine months to a year ahead where I should be because of the uh, 0.4 where they would normally scan and I'm only 0.2 and it took six months to get from 0.1 to 0.2 so 0.2 to 0.4 could be another nine to twelve months so very happy that the scan is been done and not happy that it's picked up something but uh, um, again if it was a cyst then it's, it's, it's not the end of the world so um, again thank you very much for everybody from around the world who send me lovely comments really um, uplifting comments and doing these videos I try and break it down as best as I can very still, still very positive and again it's it's actually the viewers who keep me positive because if you didn't watch the videos then I probably don't make so much videos because at the minute I'm always trying to think of my next video what I can send out I know it's not everyone's cup of tea and I know that and I, I just I say I want to thank a lot of people so my Tenerife friends um, Larry from the Malaysia who always message me and comments on my videos and I've got so many people from New Zealand and Australia Canada and uh, obviously here in the UK but um, every day my biggest viewers are from the US so many thanks to them so again every person who watches this videos should know that they are contributing to a local cancer charity or a cancer care place more than anything um, say their community uh, do a fantastic job and um, without these places you know you know I think these these care places are so vital for smaller communities and towns so yeah it, you know my contribution will be going there next week so in a say if it's, it was you basically watching the videos who will who pays for this so again it's a win-win for a charity it doesn't cost you nothing to subscribe it doesn't cost me nothing to do this and at the end of the day it's the it's the charity that will will benefit from it so again thank you very much 
Um, I will update next Monday once I had the um, planning stage of the radiation. And then I say two or two or three weeks later after that, we'll be doing the first radiation. So I'll be coming back and um, just explaining uh, what's going on there. And I'm hoping to take the, the camera into the uh, into the uh, surgery bit and the and they'll allow me to video. They probably won't, but I can ask the question. Just leave the camera sitting there playing. So we'll, we'll ask the question and see what we can do. So thank you very much for watching as normal. And um, yeah, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. It doesn't cost nothing. And uh, thanks very much. And I'll see you next Monday. Thank you.